Hello everyone. So we are modeling this character uh, from scratch. We'll be modeling, texture mapping, rigging and animating the character. So in this tutorial, we will look at how to model the legs. We already finished the hands and if you want to look at that tutorial, uh, the link is in the description and the entire list of this character creation list is in the description. So you can follow that along if you just found this video in the middle somewhere. So in the last class, we modeled the hand and now we don't need the bottom so we can get rid of it. And now we will look at how to model the leg. So we'll start with a mesh cube and we'll rename this leg underscore left. You can also create a new collection. Name it. character and then we have the hand that goes into the character collection and we have the leg okay so that uh, we can hide and unhide the collection of character itself and everything else because we are going to delete the references later on they can stay outside all right so once that is taken care of uh, we'll move the leg in the middle here. Actually, the leg stays in the center. And we will move our uh, character to align with the leg. So, it's easy to keep track of where the object is. Alright, so we'll start with the thighs here so we'll try to align the box to the thigh we're going to start from the hip area the widest area here and then we will go all the way down towards the ankle all right so again the ankle has to be scaled down this will save you a lot of time later on so make sure that you scale it proportionately so that we need this to be a square okay so we'll scale it here and scale this okay and just make sure that this is a square from top and from the bottom So you can see that it is aligning well. Now we will go to the front view and extrude it down. Go to the side view and align it here. This is fine. Okay, so this goes back. This stays in the middle. Go to the front view and scale it out. Then we need the front side to extrude out here and again this goes down here now we'll add edge loops we need two edge loops here so we can bend the the toes uh, and then we need one edge loop in the middle for the knee. We will need one below the knee, one above the knee. We need one at the ankle. We can scale this up. We need one here, one slightly above and one here okay so we try to keep these polygon squarish so the leg goes back here then try to match your artwork ok 
okay i'm going to go a little fast you can take your time to make sure things look right make sure when you scale it use that proportionate editing thing Okay, and then now we are going to look at how to create this area here. So what we do is add one segment here and we will scale it inside. Okay, and then it goes inside here. Okay, uh, and then this goes out. Okay. And then what we need is a segment here and one segment here, okay, to keep the shape, okay. And then I can hit the Alt key and select this inside key and scale it inside. It's not the inside one. We need one inside also or we can scale it outside and move it down so it keeps that thickness so that is the technique we are going to follow everywhere to create these so one is going to be here so edge loop first and then it will scale it inside move it down okay and then we add one more edge loop to keep that shape one edge loop outside scale it out and move it up all right so that creates those things that where the shoe start that's a good start for the leg uh, we didn't do the eyes so i will need one at the wider part one here so I'll scale this slightly inside and scale this out and then go to the side view and make sure that things are right. And now I'm going to scale it only in this axis because it looked right from the front. Okay. So everything looks good here. Everything looks good here. And then we'll keep the leg straight. Okay, uh, one thing is missing is that we need to extrude this out in the middle here. Make this straight. Make this go here. This has to be in the straight line. I'm scaling it in one axis and this is going to be the middle of the leg here okay so what we will do is we'll select this and delete faces we'll go to origins and move the origin at the start here so we can mirror this the hand goes here tab and we will delete these faces for the hand as well front view i'll select the leg shift select the hand and hit control j so now we have both of these objects as one object. So this will be the left part of the body. Okay, and you can see how things look. Object shade smooth. And we can now model the gloves as well, or you can do it 
in the same way here okay so let us look at how to model the body in the next class